Hey everyone, have you ever sent a message on a potato? No? Then watch this episode. When you're an entrepreneur, you can see an opportunity even in one of the most simplest things. And that's what happened with Alex Craig. He saw on Reddit a potato with stamps. And when many people looked at it as just a gag gift, Alex saw an opportunity, which marked the beginning of his company, Potato Parcel. Potato Parcel is a new quirky way of sending someone a potato with a custom message written on it. That's it. Alex started a website and it went viral right away. So much that on the second day, he sold $2,000 worth of potatoes. At first, Alex took a potato with a stamp to the post office and mailed it as it is. As the business grew, the post office couldn't mail that many potatoes. So he started to mail them in a bubble envelope as a means for delight and surprise. Customers fell in love with this potato gesture right away and posted about them online. And many gave them repeat business as well. Potato Parcel became a quirky and hilarious alternative to the traditional card. So much that people start to send birthday, congrats, and get well soon potatoes. In 13 months, they did $215,000 in sales with 70 to 78% margin. <laughs> A month before appearing on Shark Tank, they did $25,000. When his website hit the peak of its viralness, Alex sold his company to Riyadh with a contingency of keeping $1 royalty per potato for next 60 days if they get a chance to pitch on Shark Tank, which was Alex's biggest dream. And Riyadh, being a man of his word, kept his promise. Besides putting smile on people's faces, Potato Parcel donates one potato to food charity for every potato they sell. And once your potato reaches the end of its life, they encourage you to plant it to make more. Now let's dive into their website. Here we are on the website of potatoparcel.com. And when you're there, the first thing you see is Kevin O'Leary kissing a potato with his face on it. This tells you with Mr. Wonderful, narcissism has no limits. Let's turn the screen sideways. Let's see how their website works. Let's click on shop potatoes and things. Let's scroll down. They have some classy potato gift bundle, a bear bundle, birthday bundle. Potato pal, potato parcel, potato postcard. They also have potato pal couples where both husband and wife can have pictures on the potato. They have potato pup and potato kitty. That's nice. Let's see what else they have. Oh wow. Only thing that I was waiting for. Kevin O'Leary's face on socks. That's nice. In case you cannot think of something to write, they have an option where they give you suggestions, some message ideas like these.
One of the biggest lessons I learned from Alex's story is that having a good idea isn't enough if you're not willing to pursue it all the way. Alex's girlfriend thought that was one of the stupidest idea of writing a message on a potato and mailing it. Riyadh's friends and family laughed at him when he decided to buy the company from Alex. In Alex's words, there are two things which hold people back fear of failure, and the doubt of ever achieving something. Alex overcame both and created a successful company out of a potato. Now to make this episode a little bit fun, I'm gonna send a potato parcel to someone who has inspired our youth a lot. Yes, the one and only Elon Musk. We're back on the website. We're going to go to shop and potatoes and things. I'm going to send Potato Pal to Elon Musk. It's $21.99, plus I'm assuming the shipping. We're going to select the picture from the gallery. Okay, I'm going to select this picture. It's when SpaceX sent Elon Musk's personal roadster into space. When it comes down to writing the message, you can put up to 130 characters and you can put pretty much any kind of message you want including profanity but they do not allow hurtful harmful or threatening messages your message can be anonymous as long as it's not harassing or threatening in any shape and form and if it is they would have to reveal the sender's identity I'm sending this potato to his HQ in Austin, Texas. Let's see if he receives it and replies back to me. This brings us to the conclusion of our episode number 7. If you enjoyed it, please like the video, subscribe to my channel, it will mean a lot. And till then, I see you guys next time. No, I can't get you.